there's huge value in the people who live there. In we also have a tendency to be kind of shy. That skydivers are are very uh, gregarious on the whole, but when it comes to asking questions, especially at a new drop zone, we don't want to put anybody out. You know, I want to be respectful, and you're busy briefing the tandem, and you're over here doing this, and who am I left with with the manifest person? And maybe they jump, maybe they don't jump. You know, and so I think it's important for us to say, hey, listen, hey, I'm new. Could you just like give me a little bit more information to give me a kind of a quick briefing? But is there anything else I need to know? Mm -hmm. What about upper winds? Because you jump in the mountains, a lot of times upper winds are are way weird compared to what you're used to. You know, uh, if even if the mountains aren't right here, but sort of nearby, um, you can end up with like really strong uppers. In Colorado, you would get surprised by really strong uppers all the time. Mm -hmm. So ask, keep asking. Yeah. And if you don't like the advice, you still might choose to override it because sometimes you're like, you know, that person I asked seemed like they knew what they're doing because the, you know, they had the matching stuff. But after talking to them for a few minutes, I realized I'm not so sure that was the right person to ask. Okay, fine. Because there's another principle of sociology, particularly anthropology, that if you show up to some culture, you know, you go to Papua New Guinea or whatever, and you're the outsider, it's very clear from what you look like that you're not from around here, who is going to greet you? Is it going to be the village wise man? Is it going to be the chieftain? No, it's going to be the village idiot. That's how it works. They warn you as you go into you know field work for anthropology. The first person to greet you is the outcast, is the crazy person possibly, is you know the you know the the trickster, the the coyote, the, the outlier. Um, who, and it doesn't mean that they don't know anything. They may very well, you know that that person may have a perspective of the drop zone that is deeply valuable, deeply valuable, you know because they're on the outside. And yet, they will not usually be your inroads to the in crowd. <laughs> That's a good one. Pay attention to this. It's true of you know you walk into the Elks Club. You know you walk go into a, uh, you know any any gathering of people who tend to, you know be sort of a clique, and uh, the one that greets you, often not always, is the wacko. <laughs> Yeah, 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 it's true. There's exception to all of these rules. You know, I mean, there's often you know that that really really warm person that loves you know bringing uh, bringing outsiders in. Absolutely, that exists too. Each of us is born to be brilliant. We are not born to be boring and to be mundane, and we're not born to toe the line of safety so much that we don't live.